<clears throat> what does my shirt say? I don't know if you can see it or not. It says gun safety rule number one. Carry one. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's what my shirt says. It says gun safety rule number one. Carry one. So this is the letter that libtards want us to print out and sign and send to our local Walmart st uh, address the store manager to stop selling guns. This letter right here that they want you to print out. See? And then you sign your name at the bottom and give it to your local Walmart to stop selling guns. It's a known fact that only 2% of the guns sold in America are sold at Walmart. I've never, I own several guns. I've never bought a gun at Walmart. I bought ammo there, but I never bought a gun at Walmart. I just they didn't really have anything I want anyway. Their supply on guns ain't that great anyway. They only sell like hunting rifles and they don't even sell handguns there. Hunting, hunting shotguns and stuff like that. That's all they sell. It's, it's not, it's not a good, it's not a real great supply. So anywhere, so anyway, this is what the liberals want us to do. Dear Walmart manager, as our nation continues to grapple with the twin tragedies in El Paso, in El Paso and Dayton, all of us must do our part to keep America safe from gun violence. Yeah. Um, twin tragedies? Not to mention that the, the gunman didn't buy his gun from Walmart. He bought it somewhere else and it went to a Walmart. So Walmart had nothing to do with the shooting other than it was the place that happened, you know. That includes Walmart, a company with tremendous market leverage and clout. We are grateful that you have chosen to take a leadership role in pushing the retail sector to adopt more responsible policies and command you for your decisions to stop selling handguns, assault weapons, and for raising the minimum purchase age for firearms to 21. First, you have to define, define what an assault weapon. I've already defined what an assault weapon is. You take some, an object, this camera for example, and I bash somebody in the head with it. I just assaulted somebody with it, and I use it as a weapon. Therefore, it's an assault weapon. So, Walmart still sells assault weapons. They don't sell handguns. But we are calling on you, the largest retailer in the world, to go even further. Given our nation's incredible, weak, and permissive gun laws, we are asking Walmart to do everything it can, including the following, to keep your customers, employees, and the communities you serve safe each and every day uh, by allowing us to carry inside your stores to keep customers safe, having armed guards. That would keep the customers safe. Did you see the video of this guy with the AK-47 inside El Paso? In El Paso? He just walked right in the door. No security at the door. No resistance in the parking lot. Just walks right in the fucking door. Where's the armed guards? You know? They want to keep customers safe. You got to fight evil head on. You can't run away from it. You got to fight it head on. It's coming. Evil's coming. You got to fight it head on. Walmart. Shame on Walmart for not taking uh, measures for keeping the customers safe in El Paso. They got blood on their hands. Number one, what they want Walmart to do, stop selling guns until we can dramatically raise the standard for responsible gun ownership all across the country and the gun industry stop selling firearms of ever increasing electability. It's basically, they want everybody to stop selling guns. Number two, stop making political contributions to lawmakers who receive donations from the NRA. Last I check, NRA didn't kill anybody. I think Walmart's got more blood on their hands than the NRA, to be honest. They're not keeping their stores safe. As these officials are putting us in harm's way by opposing legislation that would make firearms harder to get. Number three, pledge that you use your political influence to advocate for legislative changes. They raise the standard of gun production and ownership in America, including a ban on military-style weapons. Only the military has access to military weapons. How can that be? The AR-15 is a civilian rifle. It's not a military rifle. The military don't use AK-47s. 
invest in the community you serve by funding gun buybacks to help get dangerous guns off the streets. Because MS-13, the Bloods and the Crips and the Mafia and the, and the, and the Hells Angels, they will just willingly give up their guns. Because they want to get the guns on the street. Off the street. Give Walmart's tremendous size and influence. These actions will send a ripple effect through our political system and force our elected leader officials to break the gridlock and actually advance smart policies. Yeah, you're going to force Trump to sign something. To veto a law or, or pass a law. Trump is Trump. He's not going to give in. Policies that are overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly majority of American support. Your false numbers that you went in the Democratic areas to take a poll... Where the number, where you know the numbers would, the statistic numbers would turn in your favor. Bullshit. Just as importantly, your decision to stop selling guns and to instruct the reforms from the gun industry will push gun manufacturers to reform their products of, of producing weapons, of increased liability and marketing those arms to our communities. The gun companies will listen to you. They depend on your market reach. Yeah, I'm sure the gun companies are going to listen to a bunch of fucking... Crybabies from South Florida. They had nothing to do with El Paso. Uh, yeah, they're in the business to sell arms. Sell firearms. Planned Parenthood is in the business to sell arms. Okay, let me rephrase that. As we continue to organize Americans across the country to push your company to do the right thing, we hope that... Walmart steps up and helps lead the nation in keeping us all safe. Because Walmart is not into politics. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you.